everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again for some more fast food figures. This week we take a look at McDonald's Happy Meal Berenstein Bears toys from 1987. The Berenstein Bears, if you didn't know, were characters made for a children's book franchise by Stan and Jan Berenstein way back in 1962. The books feature the eponymous bears, Mama, Papa, Brother, and Sister in stories that generally have something to do with a moral or some educational value. The bears have been featured in books, animated series, and even appeared as walk-around characters at theme parks over the years. And the books are coming out to this day. In the past few years, the Berenstain Bears have become most notable for the confusion of the name Berenstain being remembered as having been Berenstain as an example of the Mandela Effect. This has sparked all sorts of harebrained ideas from unannounced name changes to time travel and alternate dimensions. However, Dahl, the most likely answer to this is that the name has been misremembered due to its similarity to the more common name Berenstain and the myriad of misspellings throughout the years. Just think about it for a minute. How often do you see people use the wrong spelling for two, two, or two? Would you trust the same people who made that mistake to tell you that it couldn't possibly be the fact that they never noticed Berenstain was spelled differently? Anywho, in 1987, McDonald's Happy Meals were riding high, and since the Happy Meal wasn't necessarily an original idea, other fast food chains like Burger King were already in competition with McDonald's for licenses to use in their kid-friendly value meals. The Berenstain Bears were a great fit, wholesome, four main characters, and most importantly, popular. So you know these bears were going to go over well with the intended audience. The Bears, like the Muppet Babies, have no articulation. Unlike the Muppet Babies, the build is a bit different, and their heads are fuzzy and flocked. Even though these aren't the solid PVC figures we saw with the Muppet Babies, they're still pretty good quality. Set 1 is Sister Bear. Sister comes with a wagon that was also used in the Canadian-exclusive Animal Muppet Babies set. This wouldn't be the last time McDonald's would recycle parts for later Happy Meals. Set 2 is Papa Bear. Papa comes with a wheelbarrow, so kids can realize their fantasy of doing yard work. Set 3 is Brother Bear, which along with Sister are the funner two figures as he comes with a scooter, which is pretty cool. Set 4 is Mama Bear. She comes dressed in her polka dot moo moo and shopping cart? Well, they call it that but it's the old school kind of shopping cart you might push to the grocery store on foot as opposed to the big metal thing that comes to mind. Kind of sucks that Papa and Mama get saddled with the chores, but whatever. Let's take a look at the Berenstain Bears Happy Meal figure set from 1987. All right, so let's take a look at the Berenstein Bears, or the Berenstein Bears, rather, from 1987 uh, McDonald's Happy Meal set. Set one is a sister bear in a wagon, and the wagon may seem familiar because it's the same damn wagon, if you were watching last week, that uh, Animal from Canada had. Um, they're, they're reusing it in this set um and then set two we've got papa bear with his wheelbarrow um and there he is right there and also we have a uh, set three brother bear on a scooter very very cool um this one's actually the funnest one if you ask me um and then we have set four mama bear with her shopping cart Oh man, um, can't wait. Let the fucking party begin. Um, but so I can't wait anymore. Let's get these goddamn Berenstain Bears open and see what they look like on the inside. All right, so let's take a look at set one. Uh, they call them sets. Um, I guess it is kind of a set because you get a figure and you get a vehicle or something, an accessory, if you will. And it is Sister Bear in the wagon. Um, wagon not unlike the wagon that came with uh, Animal 
from the Canadian Happy Meal uh, from the uh, last week we saw on the show if you're watching last week and i don't know why you'd be watching this shit if you weren't watching last week but anyway this is the this is pretty much the same wagon let's take a look at the other wagon yeah so there's there's a couple little differences here and there that, that we can point out on this but it is pretty much the same thing the wheels look like the colors are reversed um but the the body of the wagon seems about to be about the same um, and then we have the little, the handlebar is a little different. Well, look at that. She can hang on, hang on to it pretty well. Um, so yeah, it's a little different, but it looks very, very similar. It's almost a re reuse of the same idea, but maybe they gussied it up a little bit because this is a year later, 1987. But then that might depend on what part of the fucking world you live in, if these even made it to your part of the world. I don't know if you guys know the Berenstein Bears outside of the United States. I don't know if people outside of the United States are watching this fucking video. Who cares? This is Sister Bear. She's in her wagon. It rolls. It's all right. Um, the bears themselves have flocked heads. Um, it's a very light flocking, but it's, uh, it's fuzzy. The head is hard, but the body is squishy. These are not PVC figures. They are, they are squishy bodies. Um, they're not too bad though. They're, they're all right. They're still of a pretty high quality. The paint job's all right. The, uh, the the detail is a little less, but again, they did the flocking job on there. So you, you're gonna get what you get on those. So that's Sister Bear. All right, so here is Papa Bear with his wheelbarrow. Wow, and you can fill it with stuff and he can he can carry shit from one side of the yard to the other. Woohoo, baby! Um, so yeah, real, real awesome uh, selection of stuff here. I mean, for fans of the characters, these are great, great looks. They look, you know, exactly how they're supposed to be. The flocking is a nice touch. Um, they're nice. They're not bad. Uh, again, they're not, they're not posable. But hey, neither were the fucking Muppets. So uh, there's that. Uh, you know, and they're not. And hey, we got head articulation. So there's that. There's one point of articulation on these figures that you do get. The heads do move around, and they do come with an accessory. Is the accessory like fucking all you ever fucking hoped for? No, but what, what were we going to put Papa Bear on a skateboard? Probably not. So hey, that's Papa Bear, and he's okay. And here comes Brother Bear. Brother Bear on the scooter, like, actually is a vehicle and fucking cool a lot like sister bear sister bear you can kind of race around with too um very neat it's like very as as some uh, nerds or people that want to pretend like they're in the industry might say it's a toyetic um so yeah there you go um we've got a, a very toyetic toy Um, in the McDonald's Happy Meal Brother Bear. Um, you know, they, they kind of give him a little bit of little coolness with the scooter, a little Bart Simpson there, um, two years before Bart Simpson is a thing on, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, very, very cool looking, nice little detail on the face. It looks like who it's supposed to look like, but it's simple at the same time. The sculpt is cool and we've got the flocked head. The hands and feet are, are just the same kind of squishy ass plastic. Um, they have a hole in the bottom there um so and they don't squeak or anything stupid like that but they're they're nice they seem they seem very durable these seem like you could get them wet you could you could knock them around you could do whatever you want to them and they're not gonna break because we don't have any small pieces or whatever it would probably be hard to get the head off of this thing um the the scooter itself very nice the wheels roll it's it's a lot of fun and you know what for a happy meal toy it's not bad Oh, and so finally, here she is, Mama Bear, uh, set four, with her shopping cart. Um, man, look at this thing with a little, it's got like a little dick hanging off the front of it, I guess to stop it, because goddamn, you don't want to go too crazy. This thing is just, you get it, you don't want it to get away from you, you end up fucking... God knows where, but anyway, there's Mama Bear. Um, it looks like over the years we might have had some discoloration in the uh, in the paint on this one. We saw a little bit of that last week with the Muppet Babies. This one, because of the wide 
fucking areas of paint with this blue paint, it seems we had some staining um, or, or deterioration of the paint itself. Um, it looks like the colors might be leaching out of it in over, you know, 30 years, 30 plus years. That shit's gonna happen. But you know what? It looks pretty cool. It's, I mean, it looks like the fucking, it doesn't look cool. Let's fucking be honest. Let's call a spade a spade right here. This isn't a fucking cool figure. This isn't what we fucking dreamed of. The the Berenstein Bears are kind of nice, I guess, if you're real little. If you're real of a really little kid. But um, I guess if you're anywhere over eight or nine years old, maybe, you're going to want something a little bit more action. Um, they do look nice displayed if you're a fan of the Berenstein Bears. These things... They work out pretty well. I mean, look how nice they look together. They look like the Berenstein Bears. There's no mistaking who they're supposed to be. They're pretty good size. They're bigger than the Muppet Babies. They're they're nice. They're not bad. Um, and then, you know what the fuck could you have done uh, more with the with the Berenstein Bears, Berenstein Bears, whatever the fuck you want to call them? Um, but what more could you have done? I don't know what more you could ask for if you had to do the Berenstain Bears, then here they are, the Berenstain Bears. <laughs>